we have an extremely important mission right now. This little pup over here is barking at us. It wants us to follow it. So of course we're going to follow the little puppy. Come on, boy. Show me something. What is it? What is it, boy? The puppy's barking at something down below. Did Brank come this way? Let's climb down and take a look. Well, welcome back to the Tales of the Neon Sea. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, we're on the, the hunt for Brank, the a missing robot. Um, and this little puppy knows something. What are we doing? Oh, coming to the sewers here. So, uh, look here on the wall. This is the same coagulated fluid from Brank's place. I shall follow the trail. Okay, so we need to find out where Brank is. So, just to remind ourselves, let's see if we can just find our character files. We are looking for Brank. So, Brank is uh, a technician, he's a robot, he's a maintenance technician for the virtual guide Flower Tune on Miracle Street. And uh, we were at his place in the last episode, and something very strange had happened. He seemed to have put some uh, strange. A substance in his recharging fluid that's kind of made him go a bit strange he's he seems to have been deactivated or in dormant mode but but effectively sleepwalking not necessarily aware of his actions and we need to know exactly what is going on so I can't do anything with this stuff all I can do is go straight through this tunnel and just see, see where it leads so east area E1 oh, hold on what's this more liquid. He must have gone inside here. So yeah, we, he was like staggering out of his house, trailing this weird liquid. So there's something there. Let me just have a quick check. Follow the trail and let's go. Don't waste time. Okay, fine. I just wanted to, to investigate and see what else was going on, but no, we need to just get on it. Follow the trail. Uh, okay, so it looks like it... Oh yeah, we can see some trail here. Uh, safety first, I need to put on a pair of insulating gloves to handle it. Okay, let's just carry on. Follow the trail. Seems to be the main thing, I guess. So there's something else there. What have we seen? Oh, it's all the way across there. Uh, there's liquid on the other side, but someone must have raised this bridge to, s to slow a pursuer, perhaps. Damn it, I need to find another way across. Okay. So that means we might be able to fiddle about with this. Uh, there's not enough power to start up this equipment. Okay, so we need... Yeah, I need to get some gloves. Can we see any gloves anywhere? Uh, oh, I can go up though. Uh, okay, let's look through this doorway. Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay, that's going way up here. The control station is an inactive state and can only control the wheel above when there's enough power. Okay, so there's nothing else around here. So if we can just find some gloves, what is this? A powerless external generator. The circuits connect to the lift nearby as well as the large water wheel below. Okay, can we get in here? control center. There must be some gloves in here. Noah's bird face. This graffiti is very rough. It looks like it's been drawn in a hurry. Noah's symbol just keeps showing up during my investigation. Okay, here we go. Gloves. Nice. What else have we got though? Hmm, the construction plans for the hydroelectric power plant district. Okay, so we can see where we are. The exit is down below. Does that really help? This blueprint shows that the turbine generators were constructed after the district had been completed. This kind of battery provides protection against over-discharge and overcharging. We'll take that. Perfect, the operation manual for the water turbine. Okay, so no power. So if the main power equipment goes offline, the backup can be started uh, to supply power to the generator. Attention, backup engine requires an external power source such as a battery. So, no power, X, we need power. 
Oh, okay, to manually operate the impeller tilt shaft, use the backup controller installed under the impeller. First, make sure the battery is properly installed in the slot on the water wheel and enough power is being supplied. Uh, okay, so yes, we, we saw these things. Okay. Um, that's just those two pages, right? Okay, so we just need to put the... Okay, to make the water turbine fully operational, there has to be sufficient power supplied to both access controller and the battery compartment. Well, that sounds all rather complicated. Well, let's go and have a look. We picked up the battery, so that could be installed somewhere. So, what about here? Okay, so then we need to fix... Okay, what about this? When there's... Okay, so when the wheel above... Can only control the wheel above when there's enough power, so we need to put the power in for this. Okay, so let's go... Okay, let's go down. Uh, the lift will work once enough power has been rerouted. So yeah, we need, just need to sort out this power stuff and then we, we can't get over there. That's where we need to get to. So we'll go back down here. Okay, so let's have a look at these things now. Okay, that looks like that's connected everywhere. Oh, no. That's what I want. Why can't I get out of here? Okay, I had to use the um, keyboard there. I'm going to try this. So, well, hold on. Let's let's get out of there for the moment. Let's put the the battery in. There's not enough power to start up this equipment. Can I not put the battery? Where does the battery go then? I guess that needs to go into the top there. But how do I get up? there. Maybe I don't need to. Okay, let's think about this. So that definitely needs to go there, I would think. Oh, what about this, though? Okay. What am I missing? It looks like the battery should go in that bit up there. Let me see. It's just maybe I missed a uh, little prompt. Like here. Oh, okay, I can actually reach it from here, can I? Uh, a massive hydroelectric power generator, probably abandoned due to high costs and inefficiencies, or am I talking crap? Maybe. So I can look at it, but I can't access it. So how do I, how do I access where the power goes? Can I get across here? Oh, okay, I can jump across here. This I didn't. Oh dear. That was close, I guess. I'm not going back that way. Alright. Soft plastic tube that is used for drainage. Guess we'll take it for some reason. Ah, okay. This could be... This could be it. Uh, no point in doing that. There's nothing to be delivered right now. So this is something later then. Uh, the drawbridge can be lowered once enough power has been supplied. Okay. How do we do that? Ah. So something down here. The battery must go into this bit. There we go. Okay. It was confusing me. Exactly what needs to be done. As simple as that. Put the bridge down. Okay. So, I mean, we've done... We've put the battery in. Technically we are just following the trail, right? Which is the important thing. Does the trail end here? No, it circles around to the back of this wall. There must be a secret path forward. There should be a switch to open it close by. I need to search carefully. Did something just fall out? Now that's shoddy workmanship. I hope I've commissioned this secret passage, kept their receipts. Well, that was convenient timing, wasn't it? 
Okay, there is indeed a switch, and it looks like it's connected to the circuits here. There's all the power being sent here. So a great amount of power is needed to activate the switch, and based on the diagram, the turbine has to be full power first. Okay, now we're beginning to understand our problem here. We need to access... Uh, I need to figure out where the power is coming from. Hold on, let's have a look. We need to get, let's get this turbine up and running. It's not enough power to start up this equipment. So, where? Okay. The power, we can, we can try and follow. Okay, so look, you can see my, hopefully you can see my mouse pointer. So the power here is coming here. We want to divert it down this way and up here. Okay, so now if I, if I do this, that connects it up to this one. That's fine. We don't want to block it off. Is it blocking off or is it turning it around so that the power is then going around so that it then come back this way? I don't know for sure. We'll leave it like that for now. Because uh, we want to get power up here, I guess. Here. No, no, no. Because we need this. Because we want... Oh, I don't know. Maybe we do want it that way. So that comes this way and up this way. And then this one, that's going everywhere. So that seems to be what we want, but nothing seems to be getting powered. Let's have a look. So we need the power to come through this way. Uh, the drawbridge can be once the power has been supplied, but there's no... Okay, so there's no power coming here, which I guess we want, all right? Unless... Hang on, let me just go back up here and just check over this area, because I don't think I've seen this thing. Synthetic energy resource. That magnetic generator should be able to run on this fuel. Okay, so we need to get this going. the rubbish ahead can't go any further. So we need to do something with this. Ah, I can push it. Okay, so we push it on here. And we need to deliver this somewhere, right? Okay. Right, so now we need to work out on this. Where, where are we trying to take it to? I guess we want to try and take it. So it's going to go up this way. So we, there's no point. There's no point bringing it down over here, is there? From that I can see. I guess we want to move it this way, and then fire it out of this thing across the other side. So let's see if we can do that. So we want to. Flip that way, we want to flip them around that way. And that looks like what we want to do. Follows the tracks, goes up this way. Okay, and then we can get it connected over there. That should have enough power to restore the magnetic generator. Alright, let's go back. Yeah, it's a little bit of a little bit of a head scratcher this one. Well I think we're on the right track. Just to try and make sure you do everything in the in sort of the right order before you really fully understand what it is you're trying to do. Here we go. So is that now connected? Can I just do this? No, can I? Oh, here we go. Ah, we have a plastic tube is used for drainage. How does that work? Okay, we're connected up to there. Okay. Now it powers everything. That's what we were missing. Now I understand. Okay, the power's back on. As long as there is enough wa uh, water flow, the hydraulic generator can provide power to this area again. And now we can see where everything is going. 
Okay, so we flick this on. Okay, that's going to get us across there. Uh, oh, okay. We have a wheel to spin. That's going to turn the water wheel. That gets everything powered. Let's just check out this bit over there here. What is this? Okay. It's full of rubbish ahead. Can't go further that way. I see a book of some sort over here. Another diary. Does everyone keep their diary hidden in rubbish heaps now? And why am I constantly rooting through rubbish heaps? They stink. Okay, what do we get? Let's check our files. Uh, so, notes. Okay, so, okay. That's just the operations manual there. And then this is the map for that. Um, oh, we've got all the notes now. We've completed another section. And what have we got here? We want... Okay. Lost Robots notes. Humans didn't abide by the peace accords after the war. We tried hard to work for the humans but didn't get the respect we deserve. Random damage and abuse as well as universal discrimination. The peace accords were nothing but a piece of paper and the humans never planned to abide from the very beginning. This is just their way of lying to us and we have seen no change to our situation before or after the war. We should stop abiding by the so-called peace accords. We need to make a change if we want to live our own lives. The revolutionists can help us. Okay, so this could have something to do with the devices that we've seen attached to the brains, which seems to be affecting the way the robots are programmed or, or that they're carrying out their programming. Interesting. Okay, so let's make sure there's nothing else here. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so now we should be able to figure out these little puzzles here. So the lift will work once enough power has been rerouted. So we need a little bit more power here, do we? That looks like it's only got two bars of power. Let's have a look though. Um, okay, so if we do that... That's dropped down to one. Okay, so that does block things off. Oh, okay, okay. That has now provided full power to that up there. So I can push this button. It should do something. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what does that get me? Oh, okay, I can actually... Oh, I can just walk through there. I have to just go a little bit further. What is this? Mysterious tomb. Excuse me. Mysterious tomb. What is this? What have we got? We've got... Oh, okay, we have... Invalid item. Invalid item. So none of these things work. All right, so we've yet to pick up anything. Okay, let's go through here then. Oh dear. What's going on down there? Oh, should I have gone down there first? Oh, well, it may have just said I can't get down there because there's too much stuff in the way. Okay, it's not let me do anything yet, it's just a little thing. So I guess I need to do that to wash things away. And then maybe that will allow me to get down. This guy doesn't look very healthy. An elaborate key uh, for an elaborate lock. The WVC room's key. It's not going to comment on the body at all, just like, oh, this guy's got a key. Alright, <laughs> fine. I don't suppose this key's going to work, is it? No. We could just try this one just in case, but I'm guessing, guessing we need something else. Well, let's... Oh, no, 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 come on. Uh, let's check out the other pipe then. 
because there were two pipes, right? So there's the other one this side. Yeah, so there's something in here. Okay, so we have a door. Ah, so this could be key for this door. Let's check it out. Oh, it's another, another lock. Interesting. Well, if we go for the biggest one first. Okay, and let's try, try them in size order. Uh, I'd say this one. It's working. Oh, I'm genius. <laughs> what does that get us? A damp diary. Did it belong to that dead guy in the water? Are we going to acknowledge him then? Okay, diary of the dead. Let's have a look at that. I should not have followed it. I should have just focused on the maintenance job given to me by the gang members. Why did I follow them? I have nothing to do with that weird one. That person with a bird face mask. I should never have followed them into that cave. Curiosity really does kill the cat. There were lots of glowing mushrooms in that cave and I got lost inside. Then I saw... I saw... No, I saw its secret and it has been haunting me ever since. It hides in the corner, behind the doors, and in my dreams. I have to hide in the sewer where there is no drinking water or food, but this is a horrible life. Now I have to survive on the food scraps and the rubbish that falls down through the rubbish pipes. Damn it. It have come. It will find them one day. I finally know who is after me. It is the god of death, and it will take me away. I am so tired I can hear it. It's finally here. Did you hear it too? Tick tock, tick tock. That's the sound of the footsteps of the god of death. Jeez, the guy's going insane. <clears throat> uh, okay, here, what we've got here. Uh, we need to move the water wheel to restore power. Flip the switch to open the hidden passageway. Okay. So we have another thing here. Let's just see if there's anything else. There's a bed there. Is this where the guy's been living, maybe? According to the map, this pipe should lead to a drainage outlet near the turbine. If this is turned on, it can provide some power for the turbine. Okay, so that's given us the power we need. Looks like the water is running. I should check the turbine now. But there was one more door I wanted to check before we do that. So we've got that. Can't go any more there. There are some. Can't get up those stairs. Well, let's check this. Okay, and that brings us out here. No point in continuing us. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we, we don't want to go that way. So where? Okay. So now, I don't need the power there. No, I want that. Um, I guess I want to flick down this way so I can get power over here. Okay, that's got two power bars. I'm guessing I need to... I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's full. That gives me two up there. I don't think I need that one, do I? That gives me full power there, so if I, but this one, what does this give me? It gives me three power bars, so that's kind of working. That's got zero. So I could actually shut that off and do that way. So that might give me a little bit more power over this way. That is now full power. This is now full power, so that should work. Great amount of power is needed. Yes, we know that. But what is it? What is this activating? Yeah, what does this say? The turbine has to be. Oh, the turbine has to be full power.
It is the full power. Let me go and have a look at it. I must say, this is a very confusing puzzle. I'm not sure I'm fully understanding what needed. So water wheel started to run again, but there is too little water to provide adequate power. I thought we'd done that, though. Too little water. Let's go back up the top there. And... Hmm, that doesn't seem to be... That's not doing anything. Hold on. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure I see what the problem is. So it looks like it looks like it's a full power, and I thought we turned all the water on. So I'm missing something. What about that? Is that giving all the power we need? That shuts off all over there. It's not enough power to start up this equipment. Okay, so I need to get this one at full power. Okay. So that switches it off. So that goes with this one. So what about this one? That turns it off completely. Okay. And then does this one change anything? Can't see what these things do. Ah, there we go. That looks at full power now. There we go. Oh god. That's, that was really confusing. There we go. Maximum power. Okay, so let's push the wheel out into the big old flow there. Got it. Okay, so the turbine's at full power. Now I just need to figure out how to send all the power to the device which will open the secret passage. Okay, so that is by flicking that this way and by, uh, not this one, uh, this one over here. There we go. Uh, like this, I think is what we want. So let's run back. Should be sending all the power over this way. It is, yes, but let me just do that. No, oh. okay, like that. Okay, so let me just put this bridge down at the top. I don't think I need to do it now, but just in case it's useful for the future, probably would have been more useful earlier because I haven't done this. So I just want to push this bridge down. Okay, I don't think I need to do that, but it was just bugging me that. It was available to do and I hadn't done it. Okay, so now I want to flick this around. This way. There we go, double power bars, there we go. Okay, it's a secret passage. Must be close to Brank now. So I'm a little bit concerned about um, that other thing that we saw that I didn't have any items for, but maybe I'll get something. We can come back here. I don't want to be missing anything. There he is. I think that's him. Is it? What the? Storing such a large amount of recharge through is a big project. There must be something huge connected to this machine. Is that Brank in there? 
Alright, so let's have a quick look here. So the residue is different from the one Brang left behind. Is that because of the differences within the robots themselves? Looks like this robot is dead. That's not Brank. Okay. Let me check inside the head casing. Yes, he has the same device and sword as the others. Looks like this one's broken though. This strange liquid seems alive and it's entering the electronic brain through the implanted device. Is this how Brank was controlled? Okay, let's have a look. Ah, so we could put in instruction. Test the device or inject number three experiment liquid. Let's test the device. No standby body detected. Important previous data. This means nothing. Data not matching. Detection finished. I just saw Brank's sequence code. It seems that he's one of the experimental samples. Okay, let's put in an instruction. After the instructions were entered, the whole liquid tank activated. Did the instructions activate the liquid inside? This equipment seems to be sending out instructions through the movements of the fluid. What is it calling for? What were the other, the other things? Inject. Injecting test fluid. Oh. Let's go and have a look. This is, uh, it seems that the liquid leaked from the damaged inter in interface is the same as the residue left by Brank, but it's still in its original form. I should take some samples. So a nanostructure fluid which can make a robot supplementary fluid coagulate and easily volatilize in the air. Okay, well look, we're still following the trail from Brank here. This is the same mark as one left by Brank earlier, he must have been here. Someone has used this device to activate the liquid, controlling the robots and forcing them to come here like walking corpses. This gigantic device must be the key to why robots were attracted to this place, and the method for controlling the robots must be this liquid. I need to give this sample to Charles for an analysis. However, Brank's trail ends here. Was he taken somewhere else? There's no hidden switch here. I need to keep looking. Okay, let's keep on going, I guess. There are some marks here. If I keep following this, I may be able to find out where the controller is. So, we just keep on following. Oh no! The turbine's broken. That doesn't look good. Jesus, that was close. That explosion was aimed at me. Has someone spotted me? Or was it some sort of automatic defense system? Passageway is ruined and the explosion will attract a lot of attention. Maybe it's too risky to continue my investigation. I've acquired a sample of the fluid. If I can figure out its origin and effects, then I'll know how the murderer did it. I can probably also find out his motive as well. I'll go find Charles in his workshop. Okay, so I'm wondering, did we miss out on that secret then, or will we go back? Okay, uh, as long as you stay like this, you should be able to move around again soon. Oh, this is the robot that we helped in the last one, or at least we, we told the Doctor about. And this is the Doctor from the last episode. I see. How do you feel? Great. I feel as good as the day I was born. Thank you very much for your help. I'll pay for it later at the clinic. Focus more on your work-life balance. If you work too hard, the problem may reoccur. Good advice, really. Thanks for the advice. I'll see you later. It seems that I'm not as good as you at solving immediate problems when they present themselves. Ah, age and experience, Sonny. I've been cutting my teeth on this stuff for decades. How's your wound? It looks serious. I dealt with it at the clinic. It's not bad, but it will take some time to recover. Those gangs are out of control. This is why a doctor is so badly needed in the Underbridge district. And thanks to you, Sonny, we've got one. The other hospitals are too far to get to when you're sick. Yes, well, thanks for the kind words. I'll pass them on to my wife. 
Looks like you have a visitor. Okay. So, what's going on? Uh, okay, so we need to give him the uh, the sample to analyze. Uh, while tracing Brank's movements, I found this. It seems to be some type of nanostructure. Can you help me analyze it? Is this a group of high-density nanorobots? They appear to be in a fluidic state. Edward, come have a look. Is this what you were talking about before? Yes, very similar, but I remember they were still experimental and hadn't been put into production. How could they even be here? Unless the king... It seems there is more to the Underbridge district than meets the eye. By the way, young man, how did you get so filthy? I triggered a bomb and everything I collected got ruined in the, ex the explosion. This one clue is the only thing I have left to continue the investigation. An explosion? I hope the clinic is okay. I wonder if that's why Luna keeps calling me. Was the explosion near the clinic? You should go back and check it out. I'm on my way. We can talk later. I'll take a close look at this fluid, young man, and should have the results by tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Charles. Okay, anything else to talk about? Now, Nanko lent me this door card earlier. It's very convenient. I hear it was your invention. Oh, this is just a prototype. I've since developed a new heaven level pass card. The gangster's pass card systems won't stop an old man like me for long. Pretty impressive work, I must say. You have so many inventions. Of course I do. The Soul Separator and the Laser Billy are two of my personal favourites. I don't suppose you have any core processor chips from an old robot laying around. My friend has been, well, out of action lately. It is nearly impossible to find parts for those antique robots now, but my God's Touch device should work on even the most ancient androids. Looks like you're missing some parts. Will I have one here that you can have? Oh, military android chip. Chips for military robots can also be used to fix BBX. So yeah, so we were picking up some other things. Um, oh, okay, so the other things we got were destroyed. We had some other things there. Oh, that's frustrating. I wonder if there's some way we could have avoided that. Huh. Uh, okay, let's just check out our new little things here. We have um, Brank's missing person case. So the Bell Occupation Welfare House maintenance technician. He always suffers from a headache and he's now been absent from work for a couple of days. No one knows where he is. Brank is a dog lover and he has his, his own pet dog, a giant corgi named Ellie. There's no sign of breaking and entering at Brank's place. And there is unusual coagulation sediment found in the supplementary tank. So it is believed that Brank left his place by himself. Traces and marks go all the way to the secret room under the waterfall and the investigation had to stop because the water wheel exploded. Okay. Uh, we've got some kids here, because we can talk to them. Why are you three here? What are you talking about? We were talking about the explosion at the big water wheel earlier. Oh, uh, was there an explosion? You don't look surprised at all. Are you in any way involved? What, did you blow it up? Wow. No, no, I was searching for Brank. His trail was erratic, like someone else was operating his limbs. It led me to a place with a re with recharging bays and a tank of some strange nanofluid. This fluid could be what was controlling him. And then seconds later, boom, I barely escaped. Recharging bays, nanofluid. I have a feeling this is something to do with the missing robot cases. Now the robots were being controlled. That possibility never crossed my, my mind. Cool, the gangsters must be conducting secret experiments. I'm not sure whether there's anything to do with the gangs, but the explosion happened when I was about to find out more. If you didn't see anyone coming after you, it's likely to be an automated, triggered self-destruction device. I think you're right. The explosion ruined almost all the evidence, but I was lucky enough to have collected some samples of the nanofluid before that. Charles is looking into that now. This is much more complicated than we thought it was at first. The three of us will keep collecting information. If we find anything, we'll let you know tomorrow. Good luck, but be careful. I don't want to rescue two miscreant kids and a robot that thinks it's real, a uh, real detective. Okay. Well, I guess that's probably it for today then. Um, 
yeah so we'll go out and investigate a few more things but i think we'll leave that in it for the next episode so ah, very interesting there's definitely some weird things going on and i want to find out more but that's going to, have to wait till next time hopefully you're still enjoying this please do let me know what you think down in the comment section i do enjoy reading your comments and hopefully you'll come back in the next episode and we'll find out a little bit more about what's going on in this world and i'll see you then goodbye <laughs>